Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Miller. First night, it's now been just one day and one year since a sheriff's deputy nearly lost his life after a man opened fire at police who arrived at his home for a welfare check. Now, over the weekend, I got a chance to sit down with the deputy and his wife and, of course, their dog. Here's the story. September 18th, 2021. That's when the darkness and uncertainty set in. Right here on Short Street in New Harmony is where Deputy Brian Hicks was shot in the head, nearly losing his life. But fast forward one year later to brighter times for the deputy and his wife, Tammy. Oh yeah, and their dog too. These days it's not as dark and some of the uncertainty has been lifted, but difficulty remains. Talking is hardest. For Brian, who dedicated his life to law enforcement, having to learn to walk, talk, and even eat on his own, has been a bit overwhelming. How has that, uh, that adjustment been for you? I'm sure it's been difficult. Oh, yeah. Um, um, I think the hardest part is his office was a car, and now, yeah. you know, being a police officer, you're in the car all the time. While Brian still has difficulty finding the words, his wife, Tammy, has learned to pick up the slack, doing most of the talking on behalf of her husband. But Brian wants to show us all how far he's come. Take a look. This is him when he was first released from the hospital back in January. His only communication at the time was nonverbal. But now, with a little help from some technology, it's a much different story. My name is Debbie Tryon Hicks, with Sheriff's Department, Posey County. I was shot in line of duty one year ago. Tammy says she wasn't shocked to learn Brian had been shot that night. After all, he made it clear during their marriage he'd always be the first officer during any dangerous situation, risking his own life and safety for others. Do you feel like he's still at heart, that's still that same guy? He's still that same guy. He would yeah. absolutely yeah. put himself before risking anyone else's life. The suspect, 70-year-old Paul Wiltshire, died of COVID-19 complications about three months after being charged with attempted murder of a police officer. Tammy tells me she often thinks about the man who nearly took her husband's life. I have really mixed emotions. Um, I didn't want Brian to have to go through a trial and added stress to him, or our family, his family. If there's any silver lining, any positivity to come from the despair and devastation this couple has no doubt felt, it's all of the support, including get well cards that have come in from around the nation. Living a life of a, a policeman, you just see the bad stuff. Yeah. You never see any good. And even though something bad happened, we've seen so much good. As for what's next, well, Deputy Hicks says there's still one thing that drives him. My goal is to drive and work again. Brian is proud of his career and proudly displays all these mementos, paying homage of sorts to his career choice that made him into who he is today. For better or for worse, he has these simple words for all of his supporters. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Yeah. It's a wonderful time I had there. Now, his wife and him, they spend a lot of their time, of course, eating out and staying in hotels while they do all that traveling back and forth from therapy back to Posey County where they live. Therapies in Chicago and in Louisville. And Brian recently was able to eat on his own. Now, he says his favorite food, the one he missed the very most was steak.